Hello, Southdale constituency. It has been my honour to represent you as your MLA for the past four years. Now, back in 2019, when I ran for election, I looked at the boundaries of the Southdale constituency, which consists of Southland Park, Southdale and Windsor Park. And I wanted to, upon election, impact the entire community in a meaningful way. And we have had the opportunity together to be able to do that. So when I think about some of the initiatives we have worked on together, I think about the community cleanups. Now to some that may not seem like a big initiative, but it's important that we keep our community green and clean at all times. And thank you to all the volunteers who've come out to help with those annual cleanups. And then we started doorstep food drives. And those food drives have enabled us to keep the two local food banks fully stocked with food at all times. In fact, when we do the food drive in the summer, it keeps the food banks stocked until October when we do our turkey drive. So thank you all very much for your efforts. And then I think about the projects that we have worked on and those projects have touched schools, churches, community centers, Bonavitel pool, $4.5 million to renovate the pool. I can remember taking my own children, my two boys there for, for mom and tot swim. And I know seniors have talked to me about the importance of keeping that pool open so that they can also enjoy the facility. And so it will close at the end of the year and when it reopens, it will be amazing. With the help of Audrey Gordon, we were able to build a half basketball slash pickleball court in the community park. This is huge for our area. We haven't seen infrastructure improvements in almost 30 years. This gives families, teenagers, adults and seniors access to activities that would normally they would have had to driven for. And then the Southdale Community Centre, $1.3 million for their North Fitness Expansion. And you know what I'm looking forward to? The walking track. But I know some individuals have said they're looking forward to yoga and being able to access more meeting rooms. And then my love of sports as well. Over $200,000 for Falcon football. They're going to get lights on their football field as well as a new scoreboard. My name is Sheldon Kabuka and I'm the president of the Falcons Football Club. The new scoreboard and uh, lights going in on our field over the next year or so. A lot of our success in acquiring funding for the lights and the scoreboard is due to the support that we've received from Audrey Gordon and uh, her encouragement and bringing to our attention the opportunity for grant monies that were available. And a lot of, of what we do and a, a lot of what we strive to do is to keep as many young youth uh, engaged in sports as we possibly can. And then the churches, Prince of Peace Lutheran Church has a new roof as a result of funding that we have brought to this community. Prince of Peace is more than a church, it is a community building that shares our building with many organizations and support groups. Um, we've had some issues with our flat roof which is 60 years old and we were lucky to uh, tap into some funding from the provincial government from, and we thank Audrey Gordon for helping with that and this provides a valuable resource for Windsor Park, Southdale and Winnipeg. Thank you Audrey. And a whole host of other initiatives, playgrounds, General Vanier School, all three phases of their playground project, our government helped to fund. And so we have been working on a lot of initiatives, uh, Winaqua Community Center, new uh, sign so that they can tell the community about the events that they're hosting. Hi, my name is Crystal Poirier. I'm a, an executive board member here at Winaqua Community Center. This beautiful sign we have back here has been newly updated um, and that was due to help from Audrey. This sign helps the community get all the information out of different fundraisers, community events that are happening here. So it's an integral part of getting back to the community. So over $7 million in funding 
I've been able to advocate for and bring to the Southdale constituency. And you know what? I want to continue to do that great work with you. And I can only do it if I can count on your vote on October 3rd. So great things have happened here in the Southdale constituency, but my promise to you is that the best is yet to come.